welcome to the Yeser Laboratory, where magic meets science. Today, we are thrilled to guide you through the creation of our newest innovation, the Rose Petal Reverie Bath Gel. The Rose Petal Reverie is not just a bath gel, it's a visual and sensory delight. Its unique appearance, adorned with suspended bionic rose petals, turns a simple bottle of bath gel into a piece of art, making every bath feel like a luxurious ritual. But it's not just about the looks. This bath gel produces a rich, luxurious foam, transforming your bath time into a spa-like experience right in the comfort of your own home. Now, let's dive into the process of how we bring this extraordinary bath gel to life. In the first phase, we start with deionized water, which acts as our solvent and carrier. We begin by adding 183 grams of it. This provides a great base to dissolve all the other key ingredients that we'll be adding shortly in the Rose Petal Reverie Bath Gel. Next up, we've got something really cool here. It's called Ethalnetiamine Tetracetic Acid Disodium or commonly called as edta 2 now for short. This might seem like a complicated name, but its job is simple and vital. It grabs onto metal ions, such as irons and calciums, you know, the stuff in hard water that can mess with our surfactants, and it keeps them out of our way. This ensures our bath gel can really lather up and do its job properly. But the magic of EDTA2 Na doesn't stop there. It also features outstanding sequestering ability and bacteria inhibiting ability to improve the stability of the products in the air to increase their shelf life. Our primary surfactant, yes or SLES 70%, is added next. Surfactants are the star ingredients that make our bath gel lather up and cleanse effectively. Sodium lauryl ether sulfate, interchangeably known as sodium lauryl sulfate, or SLES for short, has been a dominant surfactant used in liquid detergents, personal care products and cosmetics. It's a mild coconut-derived anionic surfactant with a great balance of cost and performance, dominantly used as a cleansing and foaming agent in mild skin touch products. For today's formula, we're adding 48 grams of SLES. That's about 16% of our total 300-gram batch, just the right amount to give our bath gel its luxurious foaming properties. After adding the SLES, the next step involves some heat. We place our beaker in a water bath, raising the temperature to between 60 and 65 degrees Celsius. This is essential because SLES in its gel form doesn't dissolve easily in water. As we heat it, we keep stirring until the mixture becomes completely transparent, which implies that SLES is fully dissolved. This dissolving process is important for the effectiveness of our bath gel. In an industrial setting, we'd use a homogenizer with a heating interlayer to make this process more efficient. But today, we'll be patient, stirring and heating for about 10 to 15 minutes until the SLES is fully dissolved. Moving on to phase B. We've got two more ingredients on deck, Yeser Cab 35 and Yeser CDEA, proudly produced by Yeser Chemicals. These two are well-known secondary surfactants in the world of detergents and personal care products. First up is Cab 35 also commonly known as CAPB 35%. This stuff is awesome for boosting foam and it's really mild, which is great for keeping our bath gel gentle on your skin. For this batch, we're adding 15 grams, which is about 5% of the total. Next, we add our CDEA. This ingredient's claim to fame is enhancing viscosity and stabilizing foam. In our formula, we're adding 6 grams of it, making up 2% of the final 300 gram batch. Once we've got the CAPB and CDEA in, we keep stirring until everything is nicely mixed and the slurry turns completely transparent. So far, we've laid the foundation for our bath gel, establishing its core functions of foaming and cleansing. Now, as we transition into phase C, we'll be adding those special touches, those decorative elements. First on our list for phase C is building the right viscosity for our slurry. The trick, good old salt, but it's not as simple as just tossing it in. Salt has a potent impact on viscosity, and we have to be precise. Given that we'll be adding a polymer suspending agent later on, which doubles up as a thickener, we don't need a lot of salt in this formula. It's crucial to remember that a little goes a long way with salt, and oversalting can irreversibly thin out the formula. But after thorough testing, we've found that 1.35 grams is the magic number for today's Rose Petal Reverie Bath Gel formulation. Next, we have Carson, our chosen preservative. With just 0.3 grams, or 0.10% of the mix, it ensures that our bath gel remains fresh and free from harmful microorganisms, extending its shelf life. Then, the delightful touch, the fragrance. We add 0.9 grams, which is 0.30% of our formula. It's all about creating that perfect sensory experience, giving you a whiff of luxury every time you use our bath gel. Now, after adding our salt, carson, and that delightful fragrance, we need to give our mixture a good stir. And not just a quick swirl, but a thorough mix to ensure everything is blended together seamlessly. As we stir, you'll notice the transformation happening right before your eyes. The gel starts to take on a thicker consistency, turning beautifully transparent and clear. It's kind of mesmerizing, really. And the best part, you can almost sense the luxurious feel and scent it's going to offer. We've crafted a quality bath gel so far, but it's still in its basic form. To truly elevate it to the unique essence of Rose Petal Reverie, 
We'll venture into phases D and E let's imbue this gel with its signature charm. Moving on to phase D. We introduce Yeser SF1 and Acrylate's Copolymer. This ingredient stands out for its remarkable suspending capabilities to hold heavy elements in liquid formulas. With 21 grams, or 7% of our total formula, it ensures that our bionic rose petals remain beautifully and stably suspended throughout the gel, creating the captivating visual effect unique to our rose petal reverie bath gel. Well, before incorporating it into our formula, we must pre-dissolve it using a 1 to 1 ratio with 21 grams of deionized water. This step ensures that the SF1 is evenly distributed, maximizing its suspending power and the perfect consistency of our final formula. Alright, now here's a part that requires a bit of finesse. When adding our pre-dissolved SF1, we don't just pour it in willy-nilly. No, we use a tiny spoon and carefully sprinkle it into the slurry, bit by bit. Why? Well, this way we avoid those pesky micelles from forming. Trust me, it makes all the difference in getting that smooth finish. And while we're doing all this, we keep the slurry stirring at a steady medium speed. It's a bit like baking, you've got to get the mix just right. As we delve into phasing, it's all about perfecting the details and adding that final flourish. We begin by adding just the right amount of 50% sodium hydroxide solution. Our goal, to adjust the pH to a range of 6.5 to 7.0. This ensures that our Rose Petal Reverie Bath Gel not only looks beautiful but is also gentle and kind to your skin. And now, the Pista Resistance, our Bionic Rose Petals. These are not just for show. They encapsulate the very essence of our Rose Petal Reverie Bath Gel. We add just the right amount to ensure every bottle is filled with these floating beauties, offering a delightful visual experience every time you reach for our bath gel. As we introduce them, we stir at a slow and steady pace, ensuring two things. First, that the petals are evenly distributed throughout the gel, and second, that we maintain the integrity of each petal, keeping them whole and unbroken. The result, every bottle is filled with these floating marvels, delivering a mesmerizing visual treat every time you pour out our bath gel. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step journey into crafting our Rose Petal Reverie Bath Gel. From its foundational ingredients to its final decorative touches, every element is chosen with care, ensuring you get a luxurious, effective, and beautiful product. Yeser Chemicals, a dependable source of safe ingredients and science-based formulas.